Hello, my friend. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at an outdoor cooking system called the Jewel. You definitely wanna check this thing out. Stick around. I appreciate you stopping in. I hope you find this helpful and resourceful. Y'all know here on 411 Outdoors, I like to review and talk about everything outdoors, whether it's outdoor marksmanship, knives, survival, camping, camping gear, and that's kind of the wheelhouse we're gonna be in today. And I was pretty excited to review this item when given the chance. This handy little contraption here is the Jewel from Stoke Voltaics. The really cool feature about the Jewel is the fact that it's got three settings. You can boil water, you can cook, and you can pop popcorn. Now, depending on the way you camp, you may or may not find this advantageous, and I'll tell you why. Because it's going to come down to how you do camping. For people who do very remote camping with minimal gear, this thing runs on electricity. So if you're one of those people that doesn't want to have to depend on electricity or an electric box of any kind, you won't find this useful. I personally am one of those who doesn't take a lot with me down to the camp. I like to be very minimalistic, especially when I'm backpacking. But if you do like to take an electric box with you, I will tell you that this thing uses a lot of power. Because I don't carry electric boxes with me out into the woods or on the camping trail, I don't have campers or anything like that. I don't own anything, so I can't test this product according to that. But I did go out and watch another YouTube review on this particular product, and it's a video that I'll be sharing in the description. I'll provide the link for you. He used this product on his electrical box, and he had a very good one. And this thing drained his power. He couldn't even do the popcorn demonstration because the water boiling and the cooking demonstration wiped out his electric box. But let's just say that you're going to a camping location where you have your camper there, you're utilizing an electrical source, or maybe you have an electrical box with you that just is fully equipped that can last a long time. You'll love something like this because it is really handy. You can make some coffee, you can get some soup going, you could even pop popcorn. Now, I've never popped popcorn in the woods, but it allows you to do that. So what I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate for you how someone like me would use this. Those of you who follow my channel, you know these are my campgrounds out here. This is where I hang out. This is where I shoot my bow, throw knives, do all kinds of stuff. I like to review all the products in this location as well. I just think it's beautiful scenery. And the cool thing is this is only about 100 feet from my house. So somebody like me, I'm going to be out here reviewing products, hanging out, throwing knives. I might want to just make me a cup of coffee right on the spot, not have to run inside. I'm going to demonstrate for you how I would do that. All right, I've got a cord hooked up to this thing out here. And what I'm gonna do is boil me a cup of water, have a little Cafe Bustello, and we'll get the day started. Now, what I have learned about this is once the water comes to a boil on the drink side, it'll just shut off. Now, it'll stay on with the food setting. So I've just clicked this button here to turn it on. I've got it on the drink setting. We're just gonna wait for this to boil. I'm about seven to 10 minutes in so far and it's finally starting to kick up. Should be rolling here in just a minute. All right, we've officially come to a boil. It hasn't shut off yet. I'm waiting on that to happen. Probably will here in just a bit, but nevertheless, we've got our water and you can just reach down and turn it off if you want to. Just like that, if it doesn't shut off on its own, which I think it's supposed to, but let's have some coffee and talk. Comes equipped with this little handle here on the side. I've got my Bustello in there. I'm just gonna pour it in. All right, so I've got me a cup of coffee. Let's talk about the benefit of something like this, especially if you have an electrical source. You wake up in the morning and you don't have to get a fire going. You don't have to boil anything on the fire if you've got a way to hook this up. This is most definitely an easier way to get a cup of coffee. It just comes down to what kind of electrical source you have. That is what's going to be the make or break for a lot of people with something like this. This thing's good for ramen noodles, mac and cheese, whatever you've got. You can throw a can of soup over in there. Some soups you have to add water, others you don't. Nevertheless, it will prepare that meal for you. Now I wanna give a plug to these Cafe Bustello packs. It's what I use in all my YouTube videos when I have coffee. It's easy and it tastes good. Now, I haven't had breakfast yet. I feel like having a couple of hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna use my jewel here to make that happen. 
I've got it on the eat setting because I want it to keep boiling. I've got my eggs in here. We're getting ready to chow down in just a bit. All right, about 10 minutes in, we're on to a boil. We're gonna give these things about five or six minutes and we'll chow. Another feature I wanna point out is this little cord for removing the top and not burning your hand. All right, these have been boiling long enough. I've got this turned off and we're ready to go. I poured the hot water out of here. I'm just gonna drop this cool water in here. Pull these eggs down so they don't burn my fingers. So I've had time to do a review this morning, have a cup of coffee, have a protein power pack breakfast, all courtesy of my jewel. And the best part of it all is I'm out here on my grounds. Now you do you, but I'm not gonna be popping popcorn in this today or ever. But if you wanna do that, just switch it over to pop, drop your oil down in there and your kernels and it'll be movie time before you know it. I'm most definitely a big fan of this. I have enjoyed this experience. You know, this is a civilized camping tool. This is not gonna be something you're gonna be using out on the Appalachian Trail unless you feel like carrying around a big electrical box, in which I doubt. Now, if you're out on the trail and you find an electrical source, bingo, it's game on. And of course, I'm talking about those stops you can make along the way. I hope you've enjoyed this review as much as I've had fun making this video. I will be providing a link for you in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and take care.